today we are going to discuss about how to construct more circle through an example problem so this is an example problem we are taking at it as a sample example so we have to determine principal stress as well as the, we have to specify the orientation of the principal plane but here we are going to use more circle to calculate the principal stress as well as the orientation of principal plane so first we have to establish the norm, normal stress and shear stress axis for the more circle so sigma will take positive to the right and tau will take positive downward so left side will be negative for normal stress and up side will be negative for shear stress let's say there is a point m so we have to know what is the coordinate of m in this particular axis system so for, from the origin we can get the distance from of m as sigma sigma zero and then from there to the m point we will get the value tau zero distance so our coordinate for m will be minus sigma 0 plus tau 0 why it is minus because we are taking the left side that's why it is sig minus sigma 0 and it is positive because we are taking say stress in the downward direction so that's why it is minus sigma 0 plus tau 0 so first value of the coordinate is normal stress second value is the shear stress now first second step is we have to calculate the center of the most circle so what will be the center and the coordinate of the center will be given by sigma average comma zero so sigma average we can get from sigma x sigma y so sigma average is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 so average value of these two by two normal stress values in two directions before calculating sigma x sigma y we have to first establish the x and y axis on the element so we are taking a so same way that right positive to the right and upside as the positive y axis and right side as our positive x axis and we are saying that this is this trace value is for point o for this particular orientation these are the values right so now what will be the sigma x and sigma y value so sigma x you can you can guess that in the x direction the normal stress is 560 and in the y direction the normal stress is 250 but what will be the sign so now this is our positive sign convention as it is from here so you can see that mean normal stresses are trying to pull the element so that is taken as positive and see if the normal stresses are in tension mode then we can say this is positive right so you can see that the 560 mpa this value is trying to push the element is not pulling is pushing is compressing the element so that's why it is negative sigma x will be minus 560 and sigma y you can see it is trying to pull the element so that's why it is positive to 50 so now the what will be the our center for of more circle so you know sigma x sigma y so we plug these two values in sigma y so that will be minus 560 plus 250 divided by 2 so we are getting 
sigma average value as minus 155 mpm so our coordinate for the center of most circle will be nothing but minus 155 comma 0 means normal stress is 1 minus 155 and shear stress is 0 so now we put this value in the axis system so you can see it is minus 155 so from this origin we, we have to go to in the left hand side minus 155 unit so here it is important to note that we are not this whole graph is not in scale so this 155 is not exactly 155 but for the sake of understanding the plot of most cycle we are just taking that this this much distance is 155 and so we are getting the center okay. now next step is we have to locate point A and point B so what is point A? point B point A will represent the stress condition on the x positive x phase of the element and point B will represent the stress condition of positive y phase of the element okay. so first we have to locate the point A so that will represent the stress conditions on the x positive x phase of the element so let's say right hand positive x as the phase A this we are taking as phase A so what will be the stress condition normal stress will be 560 and shear stress will be 400 so normal stress will be 560 and shear stress will be 400 but as she, uh, normal stress is pushing the element so we are taking it as minus and shear stress is trying to rotate the element in clockwise direction so that's why it is negative because we are taking anti-clockwise rotation as our anti-clockwise rotation as positive convention so coordinate of A that is the stress value at the phase A is what minus 560 comma minus 400 so that if we same way if we plot it so we get from we have to go to minus 560 from the origin so it will be in this side then we have to go minus 400 so that will be in the upside so we are getting the point A right. same way for phase B we will get uh, the normal stress value and shear stress value so normal stress in this case is positive to 50 because it is pulling it and 400 because the shear stress is trying to rotate the element in anti-clockwise direction that's why it is positive so coordinate of b will be 250 comma 400 so if we plot it so we have to go positive 250 then positive 400 so we are getting the value of b so you can say why you are not taking other two phases so if we know the value of a and b then we can get the more cycle the so same way you can from the these two phases also you can plot the more cycle but those are just mirror image of these two values so that's why we are taking only this axis values positive x-axis values and positive y-axis values so now if we connect a and b this line will intersect the normal stress axis at point c that is our center so if you don't know the center value if if we know just only a and b value and if you connect a and a b the, this line where it will cut the sigma axis that will give you the center of the most circle now 
we can take ca or cb as our radius and we can plot our mohr circle so that is that this is our mohr circle or otherwise known as also mohr cycle of stresses which generally we call mohr circle okay at this point it is important to remember first we are taking that ca this will represent nothing but positive x axis and cb will represent nothing but positive y axis as a is the value for a phase so this ca will refer to as positive x axis and cb will refer to as positive y axis okay so a and b are giving you the coordinate for phase a and phase b respectively so another point is so before that now let's say we are rotating the element by theta but in anti clockwise rotation so, so same way the ca a, c a also will rotate and it will become cp so here the cp point will give you the stress value for the new phase that is the p phase value p phase same way the cb is rotating in anti clockwise rotation and it is becoming cq so the b b phase is becoming q phase and the q Q coordinate of Q will give you the stress values of phase Q. So, if you know the value of A and B, as you know, so if you and also know how much theta you are rotating, then from that you can get the coordinate for P and Q. Like from here, it will be this abscissa, this will be your ordinate, similar, this will be your abscissa, this will be your ordinate. So this will give you the coordinate for Q and P and this will give you the this uh, coordinate will give you the stress values for phase P and this uh, co uh, coordinate of Q will give you the stress values of, uh, stress values of Q. Now one another thing is the rotation of the element refers to twice of the rotation on the most circle. Okay. As you are rotating as you are rotating anti clockwise theta it, it is becoming positive x to x dash so if it it was positive x so it is becoming positive x dash but the rotation in the most circle it will be twice of the actual element value so actual element value it is uh, actual element you are rotating as theta but in the most circle it is rotating twice of that theta so if you are rotating in this direction let's say 30 degree so then in the most circle it will be rotated 60 degree but as you are rotating anti-clockwise here also it will rotate anti-clockwise so now if, if you are rotating it clockwise direction then also it will rotate in clockwise direction but the angle value here it will be double in the more circle than the elemental value okay now we have to calculate the principal stress so we have to know what is principal stress so principal stress is nothing but maximum or minimum values of the normal stresses so this value also you can find from the more circle and especially the which the points where the circle cut the normal stress axis so in our case the the circle is cutting the normal stress axis at d point and e point so coordinate of d and e will give you the maximum value of maximum minimum value of normal stress so you can see that if you want to know let's say for this point so here normal stress is this much if you want to know the stress normal stress for this value the normal stress will be this much so you can see the normal stress ma getting maximum or minimum only d point and e point 
so to know the coordinate of d and e first you have to know how the radius of the motorcycle so radius you can calculate from this shaded shaded triangle so here we know the coordinate of a that is from origin the value is 560 the abscissa is 560 and so and the central abscissa is 155 so ultimately the difference will be then 405 and your ordinate of the a is 400 so we know this base square plus height square will be equal to the hypotenuse square so r square will be 405 square plus 400 square and if you take the square root of that then we will get the value of r as 569.23 okay so we know the radius that is the 569.23 from the center so what will be the uh, coordinate of d so we have to calculate the distance from the origin so from the origin what will be the distance of d that will be 155 plus 569.29 so that will be 724.23 but as it is in the left hand side so the value will be minus again same way the coordinate of e will be what so it will be from here from origin to this much distance so that will be r that is 569.23 minus 155 that we are getting 414.23 so this gives us the principal stress principal stress will be not principal stress will be one will be 5 uh, 724.43 another will be 414.23 but in the this is minus and this is the plus value so maximum value among them will be 414.23 so we are taking that as a sigma 1 that is the maximum value and the minimum value will be then 720 minus 724.23 so these two are our normal stresses one is maximum maximum normal stress one is minimum that's why it is called principal stresses and uh, as you can see at the principal stress points the shear stress are zero so there will be only normal stresses there will be no shear stress so now we have to know the orientation of the principal plane so just like we know this this refers to as positive x axis ca so we can say that cd will refer to as the new x test value and that will give you the new principal plane but what will be the orientation meaning how much you have to go from ca to cd to how much you have to rotate the element to get to that point d so you have to go from a to d but how much you have to go then so you need to know how how much angle is this that will give you the orientation of the principal plane so to get the value of this angle we can calculate it from this particular same shaded triangle and angle we can get it from so this much value distance is 405 and the ordinate value is 400 so we know the tan, tan of this angle will be height divided by the base so height is 400 divided 405 so tan inverse of that and this ratio will give you the angle so that is 44.64 degree but this value only gives in the more circle terms so whatever the value in the more circle angle wise that will be 
half in the element so you have to rotate half in the element so in that case in the element you have to rotate 22.32 degree so as you are going going from a to d a to d means you have to rotate it on the clockwise so your x axis becoming new x dash axis same way your y plus y dash y axis becoming and this way y dash axis so from x dash to y dash you have to go another 180 degree so in, in the more circle so in the element it will be 90 degree so you have to add another 90 degree so it will be 112.32 degree but you have to again rotate and clockwise so it is okay so you know the orientation now so we know the principal stress values from this dna coordinate for so we are going from phase a to phase d and here also we are going from phase b to phase e well the phase a values we know and phase b values also we know so stress and normal stresses so now if you orient it so your a phase is becoming new d phase and b phase is becoming your new phase e phase right so now a phase is becoming d phase so in d phase the stress the stress values is minus 724.43 is the normal stress and shear stress is zero so you can see the d phase it is sigma 2 is nothing but 724 724.23 and tau is zero so there is no shear stress but it, as it is minus so it is trying to push the element okay. same way b is becoming e so b is becoming e so and e e value is 41423 so that is phase e value we are getting 414 41423 and as it is positive so it is trying to pull the element okay. so your a is becoming becoming d and b is becoming a okay. so how much you have to rotate for the you have to rotate 22 .32 degree so anti-clockwise with respect so you have to rotate anti-clockwise this much to get to new x dash right and in this case also your x y positive also rotate the same amount to get to x dash and from x positive to get to the new y positive you have to move ultimately 112.32 degree okay so this is your new orientation and as you are rotating your element to this then your you are getting your maximum and minimum principal stresses in the element okay so for that you have to rotate 22.32 degree so now we will, if we compare this value with analytical formula so it is the first value is for maximum principal stress in which we are getting ultimately after plugging all the values of sigma x sigma y and tau we are getting 41423 same way the minimum principal stress will be nothing but the same values but here it is positive it will be negative so same way we are getting minus 724.23 same way if the orientation of that the principal plane will be if we calculate and plug the all the values ultimately we are getting the same value like 22.34 degree 
on the 90 degree of that will be 112.34 degree so principal stresses you know so you can check that the uh, principal stress here 414.23 same way here it is maximum principal stress is 4123 and the minimum principal stress is 724.23 here also 724.23 this is these are from more circles and these are from uh, analytical formula so theta you have to rotate 22.34 degree here also you have to rotate 22.32 degree right so you can check all the values checks out almost so, so ultimately how to construct more circle first you have to establish the sigma and tau axis then you have to calculate the average value of sigma from the given sigma x and sigma y which for element and for a particular orientation will, these values will be known so then you can locate that sigma average and zero in the sigma and tau axis then you get the centers then let, locate the positive x axis and y axis in this for phase stress values Okay, so you get the stress uh, stress values for positive y axis and for uh, and positive y uh, axis and then you locate those points in the sigma and uh, tau axis then we will get the two points so then you, if you connect this those two points and take the distance from the center to any of these points you take that as a radius and then you plot the circle so ultimately you are getting the mode circle right so now as you know as you get the mode circle from that if you, if you utilize that you can calculate any stress value from the mode circle for any required orientation but here it is the point to note is that on the mode circle angle will be twice right so, so I will just suggest you do more problems to get used to the procedure and to understand the better, better the stress behavior and hope you understood. Thank you.